Some people actually have to live in Jakarta. Look at this traffic. Moves at a pace of a tortoise. And people just look on because they got nothing better to do. Jakarta is not only a very busy town in terms of traffic, it's also a dangerous town where you have here sewage mains exposed. A drunk man walking along the street could easily fall and slip into one of these and drown. We're lucky this is Islamic country and not that many people drink. Every country has its national monuments. The United States has the Washington Monument, Britain, the Tower of London, and France, the Eiffel Tower. Indonesia's entry into that elite class of monuments is its Monas, symbolizing Indonesia's fight for independence. You could better call it a fight against funding shortages. Construction began in 1961, but the monument didn't open to the public until 14 years later. The government lacked cash to build a humongous monument, so this fella only measures 422 feet tall, shorter than some NBA basketball players. It's surrounded by what they call Merdeka Square, probably the greenest part of Jakarta, fringed by palm trees, plants, and other flowers that don't grow on concrete. The fountains of Indonesia's national monument lie behind me. Fountains designed for every Indonesian to savor, and they did. They washed in there. They did their dishes in there. They did their laundry in there. They dumped their garbage in there. All this until laundry mats, dishwashers, and bathtubs became widespread in Indonesia.